I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. Just want to let you know that I'm live on stream right now, trying to come up with a few strats for the new chalet. So if you're interested in that, link is in the description. But Clubhouse is a very technical map, right? And I was, uh, I was very disappointed with the, the play I, with the plays I saw from BDS against uh, Rogue, I think it was. Mm. So I would say that G2 is favored on Clubhouse. Then again, I'm also very surprised that we didn't see, we didn't see Consulate, and we didn't see uh, Theme Park. Right, and both of these games, both of these maps, were won by G2 in the initial semi-final. So I'm not quite sure what happened in the ban phase here, to be honest. Yeah. Imagine having a look into Strats book of Shaz. What format of Strats would you see? In the strat layout or format, you would probably see a bunch of power punch slides. You would see a bunch of power punch slides similar to what I show in my videos. What nationality are you? German. Re Legion play. I hate Legion. And also, also, I can already tell you they're not going to impact trick. Right? <laughs> you can say, okay, maybe they brought him for impact tricking. Didn't. I actually don't care about impact tricking at all. Which is uh, one of the reasons why I flamed them in uh, in one of the earlier matches. Also, no bandit. Thatcher is banned, Maverick is banned, and you're playing Kate instead of Bandit. Yes. I guess. I, I, yeah, I guess I'm actually fine with that. Although you should probably play both. You could play Bandit and Kate instead of Legion. BDS ban theme and G2 choose to have a free win on consulate. That makes no sense at all. What? Why would you not have your free win on coastline? Right, what happened to coastline anyways? G2 banned coast probably, right? So how did they get this open so quickly again? Hello? Is there electricity on both sides at the moment? He's just... He's shooting off the K charge. He just shot off the K charge and that's it. Thatcher and Maverick are banned. This is probably the single combination that makes uh, breaching very difficult. But apparently you can just shoot off a K-charge and that's it. Right. Okay, interesting D2 actually going for garbage tags. I feel like that uh, that's pretty rare nowadays. A lot of teams go for construction tags now. Ooh, I'm feeling, uh, feeling confident. How do you finish this, So, Because that's actually kind of awkward, I'm not going to lie. You do want to nade this maestro. And uh, in order to do that properly, you also need to have someone who watches uh, like the entrance into garage. People are calling it Swamp, I think. They won Nate. Ooh, they ash charged him. I guess that works too. 
And honestly, oh, I like this by the way. I think this uh, opening this with Hibana is pretty nice. Is that really like that really pins this maestro down? Um, by the way, let me guess. Two impacts still left. Could have used impacts to do this to deny this. Um, and honestly, I don't even fault them for having no ADS on that side of the map because. Like nowadays, no one is going for uh, garage tags, so I actually don't mind that. Bit, bit sloppy, not checking that. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of dislike planting default, but I also don't have a better option, to be perfectly honest. Uh, here I think it's a mistake to push in CC though. Like, uh, yesterday I was, uh, I was hating on rips for not pushing into CC. This only applies for um, construction side takes. On this take, you just, you just, you just chill outside and cut Cut this push. See, this is why I don't like. You always get C4 in default, in default plan. That's why I tend to dislike. In general, it's odd. Like, mm, I think operator positioning is probably weird here too, right? You, you've got five players alive. You have. One plat, one plant, one garage, one CC window. The last one is making a mistake. Last one should be making sure that no one's C4ing below. Where is the last one though? Good to tell. I think there were two garage, right? And a planter. I think you only want to have one garage and a planter. And then the last one should be uh, below. I don't think BDS deserve to win. They are a very unstructured team. That's true, but uh, I don't know about not deserving to win. You know, like Rainbow is uh, not chess. You don't need to be structured to win. And, uh, you know, if the current, if the best way of playing it is playing loose and non structured, that's how you should play. That's the best way of doing it. BDS band theme and G2 choose to have a. Uh, sorry, you see that? Oh, is Legion getting a 1.5x2? That's, that could be interesting. I think he's still bad though. Now you play Bandit? Alright. BDS smacked VP pretty hard on concept with Amaru. I guess they didn't want to deal with that. But G2, uh, G2 slapped BDS with Amaru on concept too. Do you say good day, mate, in an Aussie accent? I cannot, no. <laughs> oh, I just I just realized, yeah, they, they didn't actually, they didn't see four from below. Uh, I, the point still stands, you should have someone below. But they didn't actually see four from below, they see four from... Uh, Ford from cash, and you can't actually do anything against that. Am I able to change the stream title? I don't know. I can try. Was that to change though?
Okay, is there no roam from BDS? Did I misspell something? Um, okay, no roam from BDS? They've got Kate, so I want to see some Kate tricks here. Because uh, Thatcher is banned. I like playing Kate. Kate's very smart here. You can't really Kate trick anything in... Uh, Church, though. He's going to K-Trick Kitchen, right? Right? Oh, no. Does he even use this? Um... Please tell me he's going to get some use out of that. Like it's already cursed, but please tell me he's going to get some use out of that. That's that's, that's too sad. If he dies with both charges in his hand in his pocket, then oh, I don't know. G2 make the classic mistake of pushing into Shaiko. Kate died without using any of his, bridge, of his charges. I don't know. That's actually kind of sad, not gonna lie. We sure carrying it. Yeah, like that's 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 a very good example of. Uh, how BDS rounds go. Not using not using two K charters on a map where Kali is not in play, Thatcher is banned, Maverick is banned. And then you just have Ranchero getting three kills. That's That's how BDS works. I saw the kitchen had sparkling just now, could it be bucked? Uh I didn't see that one. Uh, I mean, as far as I yeah, I, 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 I didn't see any sparkles and I, I tried to look for them. <laughs> What's up, Jaeger? Okay, let's check it. Let's check the kitchen edge sparkles out. I guess it might be a spectator bug. You see sparkles through the... If there are sparkles, you see them here, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, at least at this point there are no sparkles. But yeah, like, I don't know, this is incredibly terrible, right? Like, it's... Ugh. Actually really bad. I actually have no idea how G2 manages to lose this, by the way. I guess it's just... Uh, this is on the same level as on uh, Theme Park, right? Like If you were here for the G2 versus BDS game, we had like an insane gap in terms of utility usage. Like That was also a Thatcher and Maverick band. And BDS like was like playing Kate like once or twice. And then we had G2 playing Bandit and Kate on every round, just stomping them. So yeah, like BDS, like, I mean, please, guys, get a coach. I mean, imagine if, imagine if BDS fixes those problems, right? Like, how good would they be if they actually uh, learned how to use utility properly? There's so much potential here, and that's why it's so sad, right? Like, there's so much potential here that is, like, left untapped. I should apply. I, can't, I don't speak French. I don't speak French well enough. Okay. These are using. I 
Barry, the question is why you don't just use the K-Charge to be on the wall to begin with? You're not afraid of Kali. Like, G2 have already shown that they're not playing Kali. There is a... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Same thing every round, right? Like, that's just incredibly poor. It's just really poor. Okay, so what is G2 going for here? Very important to also get hot tub open. This could be very difficult, right? Um, the ADS are placed correctly between gym window and um, hot tub bridge. I think it should be possible to open that, right? Like just rotate slash to gym window, slash through. Nate that shield and a K charge. Doesn't look like G2 is going for that though. I mean, I appreciate the idea, right? Oh, that's actually kind of smart, right? We have a ledge below in kitchen right now. Nading the shield from below. And combining it with Ash dropping, I think that's fair. I think there's also a good chance that that Goyo just like stops looking at the hatch. That's a pretty cool play. Pretty cool play. I'd like, I couldn't quite tell. Oh no, we've got 30 seconds left. Okay, fine. I don't care. Can you please explain what happened to AG, to EG? Uh, not an expert on that topic, but uh, the way I know that is that they just got uh, screwed out of a spot by either Ubisoft or EG. Did the cake gadget in Memorial get got destroyed by a nade from Mainsters? No, uh, unless there was a bug in the. Uh, like he had two K charges in his pocket, according to the overlay. Maybe there's a bug with that, but. Wait, PDS doesn't have a coach? They don't. Which is also crazy to me. <laughs> if you could coach, would you be a coach? If you could, would you be a coach? I wouldn't coach PDS. I wouldn't. Certainly wouldn't coach PDS. Um, Sounds like a pain. Because like the COVID, like there's um, right? Like I, I think I could like teach proper utility usage, right? I think that's what I could do. But that's also the most boring part of being a coach. Like that's just the the, the really basics. Like I don't boring. I want to work with a team where I can run some high-level strategies. And um, even if BDS like gets to an acceptable level of utility usage, they will never be a team that like relies on strategy. And that's fine, right? That's probably the way to go, actually. With players that are as good as um, you know, Ranchero, Brie, Shaiko, you want to give them freedom. You don't want to tie them down by forcing them to play a strategy. Uh, and this is just not my style. I want to work with a team that is playing like a proper strategy, thinking about making a plan, thinking about eventualities, being prepared for eventualities, knowing what to do at every single point of the game. That's how I want to play. What was that, Nate? It was pretty terribly cooked. Oh, I like this combination though. I like having the paid charge. Didn't he just... Oh no, he threw it on the wrong side, right? Oh no. But he's throwing a K-charge up. It needs to land on this side though. Otherwise it gets destroyed by this nade. 
I'm assuming it got destroyed by this nade. Not quite sure. But if it was, we now had um, four rounds and we had terrifyingly bad utility play in all four rounds. Every single one of them. Actually crazy to see that G2 didn't win this game. I like that adaptation though, right? Putting more ADS on, on rafters. Makes sense with what with what G2 has shown in the first round. But G2 tends to be a team that's very flexible, right? Like they can play every attack that they can play every viable attack on every bomb side. So naturally they can also play um construction takes. Which they're going to do right now. How's the hard timing wise? Time wise it should be okay. I guess it's a bit it's a, it's a bit on the slow side, I guess. Bandit running around in the basement when he should be bandit tricking this. <laughs> what is this? Uh can I go to bed? I don't want to watch this. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Nice roam, bro. Nice roam. And he even they actually screwed it up. Ooh, this could be dangerous. Yeah, you can shoot those off. Ooh, the problem. <laughs> let's see how Pengu. I oh know who is okay. Let's see how Kanto plays this, right? Because like, if you remember the the rogue round, basically TLDR, you need to push breach. Like this is this is how you win. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, go for the kill though. Okay, that was that's, that spiraled a bit out of control. What is that? Again, no one below, right? <laughs> and and the roaming bandit actually wins the round with his C4. I can't believe it. Look at this. I think he's going to get a C4 kill here. Okay, that's the other. That's the roaming cage. <laughs> the roaming bandit probably injured. Uh... Tango first time around. But yeah. <clears throat> Why is Ivana creating cash breach to vault? No idea, dude. No idea. I'm seeing I'm seeing some cr incredible things in this game, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So caught up by the mistakes of BDS that I don't even see the G2's mistakes. But like, holy shit, that's so bad. Utility doesn't matter if you get shot in the head. That's how BDS plays. I don't want to see that anymore, though. Is it bad or unorthodox? It's bad. Right up bad. Ah, oh, yeah. If BDS had stress, they would be unstoppable. They had, if they had a general idea of how to use utility, then they would be unstoppable. Judging off your thoughts of BDS this season, I'm hopeful for next major, especially considering this is the first event of the new G2 roster. I mean, in a way, you can also look at it the other way, right? Like, if 
Wikipedia has managed to fix these mistakes. They are truly unstoppable. So yeah, at the moment they are very much stoppable, right? Like, just no, right? Like if if they if they happen to have a bad day where they suddenly don't win gunfights anymore, over. It's, but it's a very, like, it's very uh, sad, right? Like, this is the grand final of a of the EU major. Like, these are supposedly the two best teams in Rainbow, in EU Rainbow at least. And in all four rounds so far, there was just atrocious utility play. Absolutely terrible utility play in all four. I don't even want to go back and see how he used his K charge this time. Okay, none on the head is right now. How are you going to get Kitchen Edge here? I just saw a sparkle, but that's not, not sparkle. Where are you trying to go? Did you just realize? Oh, maybe I could, maybe I could K trick this, and he just runs over and gets slapped from main stairs. Oh, <laughs> this is the fifth round. God, get me out. Out of here. Oh, I like this. I think this is cool. Right? Delay the explosion for the execute. And then Brida has to always worry about a thermite pushing in. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, did he already? Oh, that's too early, though, right? You should blow it like two seconds before you push. That's a bit too early, I think. Right, because like, you know, this doesn't really... I think Brede kind of understands that this is a fake. Do you kill someone here? I do. Um, where are the smokes? Is that where you so is that where you are supposed to smoke? Oh, I missed it. Okay, two smokes here. Is that where you're supposed to smoke? Because like one way of doing it is like smoke here and here. Yes, you need to at least smoke this. The other one. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Can't you? Going to die to this either way. I guess it actually makes sense to not smoke, uh, to not smoke this, right? Because then you can you have the option of killing him before he throws the C4. I can see that. Can you clip hatch drop plan from dirt? I was actually thinking about that just recently. I didn't test it though. Don't think you can, but I will definitely be worth testing. Okay, so how is G2 losing this time? Not. Holy shit, but like, I don't know. Obviously, there's more to a round, right, than just using K charges correctly. In, in fact, it's a somewhat small part of the round. But just making these mistakes, right, just makes me wish that they were punished for it. <laughs> yeah, there was actually a sparkle there. That's true. Not the head, it wasn't the head, though.
It's a repeat of the second round. Yes. Sadly, yes. You're going to make a Discord? Probably not. Don't bother with that. I was modeling that I thermited dirt instead of church wall, then just dropped kitchen hatch. But that's probably because I was too frustrated at this point to think all that clearly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see. I don't see why you would want to. I don't see the. I don't see the connection. Like, why would it be good to open church, especially with Magic Maverick Band and and a pick? No, that's fine. I think you wait a bit longer uh, on the when it, when it comes to breaching dirt. But other than that. That's a, that's a fine take, honestly. And you know, you get the plant down. Usually, that's a that's a win, and it it, it it was a win, right? Now they even dropped Kate. Yeah, sure. Like that. That's the conclusion you take. Sure. Don't use Kate. <laughs> How do BDS make watching clubhouse defenses unenjoyable? That's actually a skill. Actually a skill. Rafal plays utility? <laughs> I mean, that doesn't count though. Doesn't count. And also, it's not just Rafal, it's also Renshiro. And I'd assume it's the entire team. Honestly. Also, everyone on this team should notice, so, should notice that, wait, if K is in church and none of the hedges are electrified, we can't actually make use of Kate. Huh. Everyone on this team should realize. Is Ren just using Bandit for the gun? Honestly, I think so. Like, I wouldn't be surprised at all. G2 haven't been, G2 haven't been playing any uh, church takes so far. But then again, it's G2, they, they probably know how to play church takes, so I, I can understand playing Bandit, but... Um, yeah. We'll definitely play Kate here. In case you haven't realized. Okay, what is G2 now, go, doing now? Going for kitchen again? Because hmm. usually G2 is a team that plays like a bunch of different takes, right? If you've seen this all throughout the series. G2 capable of playing a bunch of different takes and they usually make use of that skill. Oh, by the way, in case you weren't aware, you can always, you can deny the default plant um, because there's a gap here. There's a gap between this and this. You can deny this default corner plant from church through this uh, small angle. Obviously, you can also do it with evil eyes, I guess. Same, same idea. Oh yeah, Maestro doesn't run impacts. Not even trying to impact with Kitchen Hatch. <laughs> Actually, oh no. Yeah, but then uh, Elemish gets the kill. How did Pengu die here? Uh, yeah, I mean, right. That that's the thing, right? Like denying hatches and stuff with impact rig. That's only part of the game, right? Just because you get the hatch open doesn't guarantee that you win a round. Uh. Have you seen the CCTV APEC hold where they open the main wall and reinforce garage? 
open the main wall and reinforce garage. The Clash and Dog on Red Stairs door. Certainly fun to play. I haven't seen that one. Sounds interesting. Not useful for this particular match though with uh, Thatcher and Merrick Band. Three days insane on his utility usage. I won't let you say that about him. I haven't seen him on Bandit Arcade yet, so I'll suspend judgment. Maybe maybe BDS is just bad with everything regarding electronics. Is utility usage even a major skill? You press a button and throw the thing for the most part? I that's the thing, right? Like it's not. It's not supposed to be a skill. There's not much thought there's not much thought involved in thinking about how do I use Kate when uh, Maverick and Thatcher are banned and Kelly isn't used. Hmm. There's actually, there's not that many options for using Kate in the first place. This makes it all the more sad. This citizen is using his Kate charges. Look at that. Would you look at that? And they're also playing Bandit. I don't see an electrified hedge though. No. Where's the K charge? Oh no. Okay, he's tricking this, right? Like, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to know where you're going? Please don't do this to me. <laughs> Please no. He's below... I think he's tricking Kitchen. He's below Kitchen. Means he tricks Kitchen. He is ready. Any second now, he's going to trick it. What is BDS going for here, anyways? Difficult to tell at the moment. There's no. They haven't really committed to any kind of uh, attack just yet. Oh, looks like kitchen. Now the big question is: Do they get kitchen edge open or not? Actually, they tried to go for church here. At least Callie used one of her thingies on church. Based on the fact that they're rotating around right now, doesn't seem like they got the uh, kitchen hatch open. Hmm? A hatch, okay. Okay. And I would be surprised if they got church open. Alright, so these are ideal conditions. I mean, mm, ideal conditions would be this wall not being reinforced. Because then you can make this kind of play, build the Leon Gitz play, where you uh, open this then apply pressure here. But honestly, it should still be fine. Like, yeah, you lost blue. Oh, that was. You were slapped. Honestly, Kanto should still be able to win this, I think. But he injured the guy. But everyone's dead. Oh no, everyone's dead. Didn't manage to get the uh, kitchen hatch open. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Radical ideas, people. Get this. You play Kate and you use his gadget. Put me in prison for being crazy. 200 IQ. 200 IQ. I play maid and get stuck in the washing machine, right? <laughs> That's a different kind of game.
Legend says if you have four bandits in your pocket, you do 10% more damage. <laughs> uh, and Shiro just ahead of the meta. For the last K drawn from BDS, maybe they just don't care about Motorhead because they think they win Church Check either way. And K just got caught while rotating to Trick Kitchen. Okay, but why is K rotating in the first place? Right? Like if you don't care about Moto, which is fine, then Kate needs to play below Kitchen to begin with. There's just no reason for him to start in church. BDS yet again makes everyone fall asleep on Clubhouse. It's magical. <laughs> I mean, there are probably a few good. They, they, I mean, there are good shots here and there, right? So, you like that kind of you like that sort of siege is probably interesting. But yeah, from a strategic and tactical perspective, it's uh, probably one of the worst games I've ever seen. Considering considering what this game is supposed to be as a grand final, with that expectation, with that expectation, it's actually terrible. I hate it. I want to go to sleep. Okay, wanna bet on on BDS getting CC wall open or not? Because you need to get CC wall open. Like you, you really, really need to get CC wall open. It's fine to do go construction first, uh, get construction first, and then go CC. But at some point you need to get um, CC wall open. But I do have a sneaking suspicion that this is not what's going to happen here, and I will not like it. Because same thing happened against Rogue. Like against Rogue, same situation. They never open CC. They always play these construction takes. Never open CC. Always allowed the defenders to like walk freely around here, and then always got the kill on Bandit, <laughs> for good measure. Okay, so impact impact tricks, right? Let's go. Uh they will erase it ADS though, right? The flashes came through. But you, what you want to do, I think, is um, it's fine. Because like, uh, are they doing it with thermite? Usually, impact just Yeah. Yes, there is a chance that you get naded here. I think you should still go for the impact trick, honestly. What was that? The impact trick early? Oh no. There wasn't actually anything to impact it there. Tragic. Okay, so they're trying to nade. You can't nade him that way, right? Oh, you can. Would that, would that have killed him? Probably. Nice. Uh... They're, imp they're using their utility. They're using their utility. <laughs> Look at this! And then they die. <laughs> I'm so happy though. I'm so happy to see that. Oh god. They have impacts. Impact check that shit. He didn't do it. He tried though. He gets points for trying. Like at this point I'm fine with even attempts. Right? Just show me that you understand what's going on here. And they win, right? Win. By the way, uh, BDS of course not getting CC ball open because uh, why would you? <sighs> it's so bad, honestly. So He's waiting to throw the Kate stick at enemies to establish dominance. 
I mean, it deals damage, right? So that's probably what's going on. Okay, gotta skip all that Premier League soccer talk. I don't care about that. LM said they always go for a construction take, and if their time management is good, they go for a bridge walls. But they don't mind just taking construction. They should mind just taking construction. It's actually not good. You give the defenders way too much space by not opening CC. Because <laughs> um, right? like, if you if you don't open CC wall, then the cash stairs players have like only need to watch one angle, right? Um, if you don't open CC wall, this is a spot that is playable. If you don't open CC wall, this is a spot that's playable, right? Like all of these spots just vanish if you open CC wall. It's so important to open CC wall. You don't need to do it first, it's fine to go construction first. But at some point during the round, you need to open CC wall. The outside hedge has become reinforced. Couldn't you start doing holes in logistic and defending CCTV cash? Are you even for that hedge change? I, dis I dislike that hedge change. I think that's too much. Um, like I'm, I'm fine with how, how defender side of the map the meta currently is. I don't mind that. But there is a limit. <laughs> is a limit to how defender sided maps should be. And I think I think reinforced hedge is um, reach that limit. And uh, I guess on Clappers it wouldn't actually matter too much since you're running double hard breach anyways. Use Hibana to open that. Yeah, depending on bands, right? Like especially with these kind of bands, that could be huge. For example, Jim. Uh, Jim. Uh, like Logistic Hatch. Um, you, K you K charge that. And you can you can K to charge it in a way where Hibana can't... Um, where Kali can't open it. So that that's huge, right? Okay. No cash hold. That's interesting actually. No cash hold from G2. I don't like giving the attackers that much space. Um let's see where this is going. Again, just just that just as getting CC will open is very important for CC takes, so is getting hot tub all open for gym takes. So let's see if they're doing this. Don't see thermite at the moment. Where's thermite? Oh, okay. That's that's a good that's the correct position. I like it. You cleared ADS, I like it. Ah they're using they're using uh flash. That's that's cool. I like that. Using Clash to block the drone hole. But obviously it doesn't work now. I wonder if... Yeah, like... Maybe they, maybe they know that there are no stun shadows left. And what you can do is you can ban the trick behind Clash. But um, I don't think anyone is brave enough to do that. right? Because like there's there could be gaps and you never really know. You haven't really tested this. Hard to lose. And in this particular game, they can't do it anyways because of Kali. But, um... They, yeah. I don't know if they should know that Kali is in play, right? Ooh. Awesome. Uno's got so... Uno's so good at throwing C4s, like, honestly. I think some, I think some people would uh, screw that up. I know I would. But they're not going... I, I think it's fine to not go for uh, that bandit trick because of Kali. Yeah, you just push this, right? How oh, are they winning? Winning every gunfight, right? Like winning the logistic gunfight, winning this gunfight. The... I don't know, winning a bunch of gunfights. You hate to see it.
Uh, Nyx watched the Virtus Pro vs Rogue match intending to analyze the whole tournament. And I think he gave up after watching VP not open CC for like three rows in a row. Like three rounds in a row. Yeah, like I can tell you that much. On a, in NA, these walls are always open. There's uh, never a round where these walls are not open. Maybe E United doesn't open them, but I don't know where that went. They can do the hedge change, but would need to tax the defender's pool of reinforcements. Makes sense, yeah. But I think it still would be kind of oppressive. Like, imagine Cafe, right? Cafe roof hatch is reinforced. Uh, Thatcher band. Maverick band. Or Thatcher band, and doesn't matter the other band, you're forced to play Maverick and Mav open, like, roof hatches. Imagine. Having to roof, uh, having to map open roof patches on like a, on a bakery attack because you want to full clear. Sounds like a pain. Are you German? I am. You think clash? Do you think Pango clash heading was bad there? Yeah, pro probably actually. Yeah. Probably. I don't think why he turned. Okay, what, what happened here? Just some kind of... Okay, just going for kills, I guess. Nice... Uh, nice adaptation, I think. To play in oil and uh, be ready to kill... Psycho as he was walking up rafters. Because that's what he did uh, last round too. Not quite. You don't, you don't need to hold that angle, but... Probably fine. But like, this is the quality of shots that like BDS hits, right? So... That is the reason why they're winning here. What do you think of Joe? Never seen him play. Heard a, I heard a few stories though. <laughs> I wonder about this strategy. Because like, I guess you want to use... Like this crossfire? They're not really though. Hmm. Too late to think about this. I don't I don't really know. It seems it seems weird. I can't quite put my finger on it why though. Is there anything that BDS can do here? Just Trade, right? Just walk into. A, I think you should walk into logistics. Yeah, you should walk into uh, the logistics here. That's that's the best way of forcing a one v one gunfight. Skip. Okay, CCTV again. Okay, he just gets another gets another chance of opening two balls in this game. Were there no timeouts for the August Major? No. As always, no timeouts in online games. Gotta rely on the tactical rehost. The two can tell you all about that. Big Kappa. You can always open the new hatch, even if it's k -dead. Can you? You sure about that? Is that... Well, it's, it's probably the same height as the blue one, right? So I guess I guess that's true. Who played better siege in the grand final? G two. <laughs> one hundred percent G two. I mean, even if G two played terrible siege for the first two three maps. What BDS is doing here, like immediately disqualifies them from being the better from being the better team. 
strategically speaking. Okay, probably construction take again, right? Interesting Goyo shield. Why is that there? Is it usually it's uh, closer to uh, like these kind of stone steps, a small drop off. Okay, bandit. Impacts. No impacts. Where's bandit though? Okay, let's see it. Let's see a bandit trick. Where's the bandit trick? Not the bandit trick. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not again. Oh. <laughs> Get me out. Is this the last round? Please tell me this is the last round. Also, I can already tell that BDS is not going to get CC wall open. Oh, wait, no. They needed it, right? They can not They can get it open. Oh, rotate now. Oh, fuck it, just... Oi, oi, oi. Can I go back to watching NA, please? Best team EU. What a sad showing, honestly. Great match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great match. Sure. This is actually sad to see, I'm gonna lie. Okay, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Alright, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And thanks for watching.